Good morning everybody. We are going to have a look today at how to join curtain walls into a corner. Starting a new project. So often people have trouble with these uh, curtain walls that are joining into a corner and uh, we are going to look at two ways in which to handle this. First we need to create them quickly. So we are going to go into an elevation to give us two levels. We'll make it a little bit more challenging. There's my level. Create similar and I offset a line by four meters. I'm going to call this the roof level. And then in my floor plan, I'm going to create a wall. Just an old generic wall will do for now. I'm going to create that up to level 2. Remember when we draw walls we'd like to draw them from level to level so that we can schedule and get quantities accordingly. Um, typically that is how buildings are built. I can choose finish face exterior over here and there I have the wall. Making my life easy, going into 3D hovering in on one of the walls, pressing tab to select the joined walls. I can now copy them to clipboard and paste aligned to selected levels. Pasting that onto level 2 and there we go. <clears throat> so as you can see there's an ugly line at the interface. We get rid of those by using the join geometry command. I am selecting by edge at the moment, so I can select by face. That will hide the interface. Now it looks more proper. Great. So let's create our curtain wall. We want to create a curtain wall in the corner. And again, that is the wall command. Curtain wall. These exterior glazing and storefront are simply uh, examples of curtain walls where the type properties have been set um, to achieve a certain result. There is the curtain wall. Firstly, I'm going to edit the type and to say I want to automatically embed, which means it will cut itself out of the containing wall. And on the join condition, how the mullions will join up together the border and vertical grid continuous a good choice apply and now I draw it up to the roof but I give it an offset for an overhang maybe there is a lintel that is supporting the roof there good we're ready to go we're drawing on the center line to the end point and from the end point over there and immediately you can see there's a problem in the corner there let's have a look in 3d there it is whoops my offset was positive should have been negative let's just make this negative and there we can see it's cut automatically out of the walls that it finds itself contained in. But clearly this corner is not right. That corner, that must go. So how do we handle this? There are two ways. The one is that we can model something in place. Now remember in Revit Alti you wouldn't be able to do this because there is no modeling in place. So component, model in place. I'm going to choose to model a wall component and I'm going to call it a wall void and I'm going to create that as an extrusion that is oversized and that will go up to a height of 7 meters I accept the extrusion and now I can use the cut geometry command to cut from the wall the void extrusion and similarly to the one above 
and finish. And there we go. Treat the warning accordingly and there we go. Alternatively, you can also edit the profile of the wall. Just undoing until I get past. There we go. Alternatively, one can edit the profile of the wall. In 3D, that is just as easy. Edit the profile. So all I need to do with this wall is drag it a bit shorter. And in fact, what I want to do, what I want to do is I want to align it to this inner face of the curtain wall over here. So I use the align tool. I use the align tool to align onto this face that extrusion, that vertical uh, profile line. Except. And immediately you can see how in the corner that is now fixed. You can do the same thing to the wall at the top. We edit the profile. This time I'm drawing a horizontal line. Can you see these dotted blue lines? Those dotted blue lines means that line is horizontal. And again, the dotted blue line means that is vertical. You can trim into corner. And now, again, I can use the align tool, align to that edge of the curtain wall, the vertical wall profile line and same with horizontal and accept. So there again, which I find easier, is a way to treat a curtain wall that is joining at the corner. Curtain walls, remember, are composed of curtain panels. One may tab to them to select them. So first of all, one may put a corner mullion where they join. Choosing a mullion, there is the corner mullion, it will accept that mullion and that is pretty straightforward. Deleting that mullion again, the alternative is if one has a silicone joint. So by tabbing to the faces of the system panels, one may then align the curtain walls. So align, this time I'm choosing to select by edge. And I want to select that inner face of that system panel and I'm aligning that curtain grid. And similarly on this side I'm tabbing to the, actually in this case the outside face and there we go. So this is what a silicone joint would look like. If you change your mind afterwards and you want to put a Mullion, a corner mullion back, it will not accept it. And in fact, trimming that into a corner won't help you either. Because it doesn't want to, it's already seeing itself as being trimmed to a corner. An easy way to overcome this, drag this a little bit shorter, drag that one a little bit shorter, and join those elements, and trim into corner again. Now they're not arranged as if they were going to get silicone anymore and we can place that corner mullion back in. Corner mullion and there it is. So there is a quick way how you can handle curtain grids meeting at a corner.